I'm from Well Youth, and we're having a heck of a time here. So happy to be here. We're having fun. Give away prizes. Yeah! Now you're passing here at Wellspring. Let's get it. Come on. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ozzy coming to you again with another video here for the channel. Just want to go ahead and give you guys thanks for definitely supporting um, the channel. We're definitely on our target probably to 740 by the end of the week. Really appreciate you guys on that. Um, definitely showing that support. So if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you to the channel. And again, don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys get to see the content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. So that way you guys get to know every single time I upload a new video to the channel. So as you notice here, I'm actually at Wellsprings. We're going to do youth night tonight. I'm actually going to be DJing. Um, even though you guys saw that, the last video, which I'm going to put the info card right up here, saying that I lost my passion as a mobile DJ doesn't mean I lost my passion as a DJ. And I'm actually glad I'm going to be using um, the talents to actually glorify God and also help out the youth. So um, with that being said, let's head back in here and yeah, let the show begin. All right. Check you guys out soon. So that was just a small snippet of what actually took place at the youth night at Well Springs. Like I said, I was I had the privilege to actually DJ. I know in my last video I said I was gonna quit being a mobile DJ, but this is different, right? This is not me being a mobile DJ. I'm actually participating in this event with the youth team at Well Springs, being able to provide this music service, um, and again just seeing the youth having fun and clean fun and, and being able to really enjoy the word that it's something that I always want to be part of and I always wanted to to see firsthand experience and that's something I was able to do with uh, with Wall Springs at this youth night and the youth pastor Jordan he brought the word and I could tell you something I saw the youth just listening to him I mean <laughs> let me explain something right people could talk and they can use the microphone they can talk but very few have I don't know if it's the aura or it just has that it just has that presence of a leader uh, to really with that when they talk they were able to capture the crowd and that's something I saw with the youth that once he started speaking I mean yeah we were all hype yeah we were having fun but when it came down to the word brought in his testimony and talked about how God saved them and how God has started to change him and transform him the youth were listening I saw their eyes I mean it was literally could drop a penny and you could hear the sound that's how the reverence it was for the word and wow well, i use the word reverence right it's it's <laughs> you know uh i didn't want it to sound too churchy but you know that's what it was i mean people really were listening and not only that when he brought his buddy who is a worship leader and he came in and he sang three songs all the youth majority of, i don't want to say all the youth i want to be honest uh, majority of the youth really were worshiping God. They were listening. They were also singing and, 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 and being able to allow the words actually penetrate their hearts and really pour themselves out to God. Like I was amazed. That's one thing I, I'd like to do is to observe. And that's something I sat back. And while I'm watching this, I'm like, wow, some of these kids never attended a church. Some of these kids probably were afraid to go to church. And here they are singing along the words of 
of, uh, of worship, worship to God, worship to Jesus. And that is something that is so amazing. And like I said, it was a successful night, you know, because we were able to bring that uh, to this youth here in Toms River, New Jersey. And it was just amazing. That's something I want to continue being a part of. That's something that I want to continue. If this is the talents that God gave me is to be a DJ, I want to continue that, you know. And the great thing is that Wellsprings have they gave me the opportunity, gave me an open door. Uh, I was able to provide the music, and not only on that youth service, but also on the Sunday service at 9 a.m. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, I was a little bit afraid because I'm like, I'm going to blast 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., I'm going to start blasting some EDM or something like that. <laughs> Because we want to make sure the environment is fun. And to be honest with you, like it, it was fun. It was very cold. When we were on that Sunday, it was very cold. That was the, the only Sunday that I think the winds were high and it was very cold that day. But otherwise than that, I was having fun. doing something I love to do for God, you see? Um, and that's all I care about. And to be honest with you, just being able to do that for God, amazing. And I want to continue being a part of that and continue um, providing my talents that God has given me for Him. You know, that is the main purpose. Another reason why I'm stepping back from being a mobile DJ was because of that. It, it just took too much of my time away from God and also from my family and even though I always have fun doing it, there's certain things you just have to let go. And that's something I just really decided and I really felt in my heart, it's time for me to let go. Listen, put whatever you got, the talents that you guys have that God has provided for you, put that to work. Trust me, it's gonna, it's gonna be the biggest gift that you are gonna be able to give. And when you see people being encouraged, like actually at this youth night, I saw a youth that came up to me right at the end when I was packing and she just started talking. I think maybe she's like 12, 13 years old, started talking to me about the DJ equipment. She wants to become a DJ. And that inspired me even more because you know, us, us as DJs, we start talking about the techniques, we start talking about all this. And then there were, at one point I had to catch myself, like, wait a minute, she probably doesn't know all this, but little did I know she really knew exactly what I was talking about at a young age. Inspired to do more, inspired to give, continue to doing what what God has called you to do and also you know don't worry about what people say you know sometimes we, we put ourselves in a box and we think that listen this is what we need to be no 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 get yourself out that box do what you have to do and trust me it is gonna be beneficial for you I just want to tell you I want to thank you for supporting the channel right now we're very close to 750 subscribers 50 away from hitting 800 200 away from hitting a thousand subscribers here on the channel. I just honestly, I just gotta say thank you for that because without you guys, um, this wouldn't be possible. Also, I want to tell you that again, here on the channel, you're gonna be seeing vlogging about my family, vlogging about my life, my everyday life. You're also going to be seeing some things about DJ. This channel is about sharing, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share my story, my life, my family. Uh, everything that has to do with me, I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you guys because I think that's something that could be beneficial for you guys. Just on the next video here I'm gonna put up, I'm actually gonna be talking about having conversations with clients. It's gonna be geared a little bit more to DJ uh, questions. However, you can use this also if you're um, a salesperson or so, because it's gonna be more like sales techniques. So I'm gonna put on there, you know, quality questions that you can ask your clients in order to get the right information and provide them the services for their needs. You see, because so many times as DJs, what we do is we put a package and we think this package works for everybody. And then next, you know, when we give out the price, guess what happens? The client gets scared away. Well, I'm gonna I'm gear this more to asking the right question to see what's the budget of the client. That way you can create a package that it fits their needs. That way you don't feel that you're overdoing and getting underpaid. And also the client doesn't feel that they're overpaying for some, uh, you know, for an entertainment that wasn't to their expectations. So that's something I'm gonna be talking about here on the next video. 
for you guys on the YouTube channel. But besides that, guys, I want to thank you for continuing to support in the channel. If this is your first time here, I want to say thank you for taking the time to view this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell so that way you guys get a notification every single time that I upload a video. And if you're a continuous supporter, a subscriber here on the channel, I want to say thank you for your support. Continue sharing. And like I said, I'm going to try to upload at least once a week. Maybe you're going to see twice a week. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to try to do this uh, once a week for you guys. All right, guys. So with that being said, this is your boy Ozzy. Thank you for taking the time. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.